The Great Lakes Surf Rescue Projects wants you to know about Great Lakes' dangerous currents. We want you to understand how winds across the Great Lakes create several types of dangerous currents. Lake Michigan will be our sample lake because it's the deadliest Great Lake. On average, almost half of all Great Lakes drownings happen in Lake Michigan. From north to south, Lake Michigan is 307 miles long. From east to west, it is 118 miles at its widest point. Fetch is the distance traveled by wind across open water. When you are at the beach, know that winds equal waves, equal dangerous currents. North or south winds fetching 307 miles will create dangerous currents for the entire lake. The same goes for winds fetching 118 miles east to west or west to east. To simplify the wind directions when you are at the beach and looking at the water, ask yourself, are the winds on shore, side shore, or offshore? The wind directions will have an impact on the types of dangerous currents you may encounter. For rip currents, winds and waves are directly on shore. The waves are breaking on the sandbar near shore. As the water washes up the shoreline, it starts to recede and hits the sandbar. But it doesn't have enough energy to go back over it. The water flows parallel to shore until it finds a cut in the sandbar, a trough, where the water can funnel out. Outlet currents can be a river or a creek flowing out into the lake. It acts similar to a rip current. It is pulling away from shore. An outlet current may occur with or without winds and waves. They're usually caused by heavy rainfall, and the water naturally flows out into the lake. If the wind and the waves are side shore or side on shore, it can create a long shore current. The long shore current is flowing parallel to the shoreline with the direction of the winds. Long shore currents become the most dangerous currents when they run into piers, jetties, or structures. Structural currents flow parallel to the structure. In addition, the wave activity along the structure can be very turbulent. Waves may be crashing into the structure and then rebounding into the incoming waves, creating a washing machine effect. In this sample beach illustration, there are no winds or wave activity. The sandbars are parallel to shore and there are breaks from previous currents. If we add side on shore wind and wave activity, the long shore current flows parallel to shore and feeds into the outlet current, the rip current, and the structural current. Offshore winds and side offshore winds blow from the land out to the open water. Anything that floats on the surface can get blown far and fast offshore. Footballs, beach balls, inflatable rafts, kayaks, stand-up paddle boards, anything that floats can go far and fast offshore into deep water. Please understand that all of these dangerous currents are like a treadmill. You do not win against a treadmill. You run your distance, you run your time, you press the stop button and step off the treadmill. If you are ever caught in a dangerous current and are doing the signs of drowning, the GLSRP advocates that you flip, float, and follow. Flip over onto your back and float. Float to keep your head above water. Float to calm yourself down from the fear and panic of drowning. Float to conserve your energy. And then follow a safe path out of the water. If you are in a rip current or an outlet current and you are being pulled away from shore, flip over on your back and float. Realize you are being pulled away from shore. Swim parallel to shore and then back to shore. If you are in a long shore current and are flowing parallel to shore, swim straight back to shore. If you are in a structural current, Float and try to signal someone on the structure to throw you a life ring or something that floats. If you are on an inflatable device in an offshore wind, always stay with the flotation device and try to signal for help. Float first. Exit strategy second. If you want to survive a drowning incident, you must stay at the surface and continue breathing for as long as possible for either self-rescue or for professional rescue to arrive. Flip, float, and follow.